Right, my good deed for the day. Everything washed and dried. You'd think it was Paris Fashion Week the way Nicholas carrying on. What are you buying this time? Just looking at makeup, that's all. No wonder your skin. Hey, you never know. There might be some decent freebies at the clothes swap. Diane's donated a load, so that's you sorted. Oi! Far too young for Diane's cast offs. How dare you? Mum preach skinny jeans, on the other hand. Right, I'm going to take all that down now if you want to add anything. I've taken mine already. Oh, um, I'm off to help Amelia. They've moved it to the calf now, so all that stuff needs shifting. Oh, but it was supposed to be at the hall. Nicola's orders. Oh, we better get over there before she has another meltdown, eh? You can't swap that. Vanessa practically lives in it. I always thought it made her look like a geek. Yeah, I think she rocks a geeky look. Oh, come on, Vanessa's dead fit. She should be showing the world how gorgeous she is, not hiding behind something shapeless and practical. She's a vet. She can't go wading through Calmbrook in killer heels. Well, they never stop me. Hey, style over comfort every single time. OK, well, don't throw away all the comfy clothes, cos, you know, when she's poorly, she'll be living in joggers like I did. Oh, I miss her. And you know how rough she's going to be feeling after chemo. I should be looking after her. Her mum had a fall. She needs looking after too. And you know, Vanessa's safer there. There's less chance of her getting an infection without us sort of traipsing in and out. Yeah, I know. I just miss her. And so does Johnny. It's just, it's not the same without her. Johnny's fine. Where he's family too, it's what he's used to. Well, I hope social services see that. Cos I'm hardly prime step-parent material, am I? You're a great mum. Looking after four kids on your own, I've never seen you more domesticated. And we only had three takeaways last week. That's a record. I can call the social worker if you want and tell her how well you've been doing. Let's not overdo it, eh? I mean, you gave her the hard sell last time, maybe I have to be mother of the year? No, I've got to leave it up to the powers that be now. And let's face it, they know everything there is to know about me, so... It's just up to them to decide if I'm a decent parent. <sighs> Oh, is that everything? I wish. There's piles of clothes that need fetching. Yeah, we can't fit it all in here, so I'll sort some for the recycling bin. Hey, that's a beast, isn't it? So it been delivered the other day. Oh, the more we recycle, the less goes to waste. Well, I can make a sign and put it outside the hall if you like. No, I can do it. Look, please. If I had time to say please, I'd say it. I mean, look at this place. We're nowhere near ready. Everything either needs folding or hanging on rails. Hey. How's Vanessa doing? Oh, she's still at her mum's, so it's kind of hard to tell. Well, you must speak. Well, yeah, we do every day, but she never lets on how bad she's feeling. She just tells me she's fine and she's managing the pain, but she could just be saying that, couldn't she? Cos she doesn't want to worry me. That's obviously working, then. Sorry. I know you've got a lot on your plate with the adoption as well. Yeah, I do feel stressed as it happens. Not that it's any of your business. Uh, you made it my business when you asked me to look for Kieran. Yeah, fair enough. But you can stop that now, cos there's no point. But I thought you needed his consent to adopt Johnny. Well, not if we can't find him. We just need to prove that we've tried to track him down through the official channels, which we've done. That's all the social services need. <laughs> right, that's me done. I've found loads of good stuff, actually. Five for five, I donated. Well, spread the word. We'll be having another one soon. And if you're getting rid of any clothes in the meantime, pop them in the recycle bin outside the village hall. Oh, I miss that. It's gorgeous. I know. You should nab it before someone else does. There you go. Kieran! Just don't freak out. Please. What are you doing here? I thought you were in America. I got a message from Rohani and she said you were looking for me. I didn't expect you to just turn up on my doorstep. I had nowhere else to go and I was hoping you'd want to help me out. Help you? Why else would you get in touch? OK, you need to leave. <laughs> Priya. Right now, or I'll call the police. <laughs>